Yo, what's good? How you doing right now? I'm on my way to Arcadia, California because I'm gonna receive my first traditional tattoo. But technically, this is my second tattoo. My first one is on my left forearm right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Check that out. But I got this one when I went to the Philippines in 2017. And uh, it's a tribal tattoo. So I got it from the famous Apo Wang Od in uh, the village of Kalinga. And yeah, so it was all uh, with just like bamboo, a thorn, and just like her just padding away on my skin. So here's a few clips from that experience from last year. So check it out. All right, after a 12 hour long bus ride, we're now here in Banawe at the rice terraces. Looks dope. And yeah, my ass cheeks and my traps hurt, but it's all good. And I'm rubbing the tail. Oh. <laughs> You know, this whole time, I've just been counting down the minutes till I get my tattoo. Kind of scared. <laughs> nah, but it, it'll be okay. I'm only, I'm only tripping because it's my first tattoo. And it's not, you know, the machine. It's, it's with a stick and a needle. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. At this point now, it's up to her. I did it. I got my tattoo from Apo Fang Ud. I just I just uh, learned that it's not Wang Ud, it's Fang Ud. I don't know why it's a W H, but that's how it is. Look at this view again, though. I feel like I need to climb to the top of this mountain to meet my Shaolin master. But um, I'm just bleeding a lot right now. I'm a bleeder. I have two giant blood vessels on my forearm. Nurses love me. It wasn't that bad, but apparently traditional tattoos hurt way more than uh, than machine. But I'm not tripping on that. I accomplished. Hey guys! <laughs> I accomplished a lot. Uh, much respect to her and like this whole village. Like you know, I love the fact that you know she like. Uh, she's treated very well in this village. Like she deserves uh, this type of accolade. Oh, yeah. So my tattoo, it was complete up to her. I wanted a band, but apparently she doesn't really do bands. But what I got was a the pattern of traditional Kalinga wear, plus her signature, the three dots. And I'm still bleeding, <laughs> like a lot. Yeah. Yeah, around the elbow it didn't hurt that much, but my forearm felt it a lot. And I get and we I bled a lot too. But I think I got the signature too. A a What's your mom gonna think? I don't know. What's my mom gonna think? <laughs> too late now. <laughs> I'm gonna see her next weekend. So we'll see. So yeah, that was a cool experience. Uh, so technically, uh, today will be my first traditional tattoo, you know, with the machine and everything. But I've met people who've done both um, the type of tattoo that I have on my arm and just the machine tattoo. And they all told me that um, that having this type of tattoo uh, hurts hurts more. So I feel like if I can handle this, then I can handle a tattoo. So we're going to see how it is. But yeah, so I'm getting this tattoo on my upper back. And I'm super excited for it, so let's head to Arcadia right now. Yee yee. Alright, I just want to give a quick update as I'm letting my car uh, cool down a little bit because it's hella hot. Uh, if you've seen my Atlanta vlog where I'm arguing with my cousin, let me turn that off a 
little bit. If I'm arguing with my cousin about if her bed's a queen size or a full size bed, I made the comparison to my bed at home because I thought I slept on a full size bed, but I recently changed my mattress cover, so I checked the tag, and I also sleep on a queen size bed. So I took an L on that one, I lost. Sorry, cuz, she, <laughs> she was like all up in my face when I told her about it, but yeah, that's my bed. So it's a queen size bed, supposedly. But I don't know if there's actually a queen XL size, but I've never went mattress shopping like that. So it is what it is. For people who've never received a tattoo before, I've been advised to eat a full meal before you get the tattoo, uh, depending on how long the session is. And I expect my session to be anywhere from six to seven hours. So I did eat a full meal. I'm trying to keep myself up, I'm drinking Monster Zero, one of my favorite energy drinks because zero calories and you know it's just flavor caffeine is dope because you get the crash from sugar so like that's why I always crash with whenever I drink coffee because I always need uh, cream of sugar with coffee or uh, energy drinks like red the regular Red Bull with sugar in it like my crashes like are hella hard so yeah just to give y'all some advice and I'm also just trying out uh, oh my god, the freaking freeway is closed. Oh my god, like, <laughs> this oh my god, this sucks. But anyways, I, I was just, just gonna say I was testing out vlogging while driving, which obviously, you know, a drive with caution. But now I gotta figure out how to get on the freaking freeway. Wow. <laughs> Oh damn dude this shit looks crazy. Yeah bro. Yo, I just wanna say shout out to Eddie Bird for giving me the piece on my back. Yo, thank you so much bro. Of course, of course. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Yo, it's pretty dope. I'll put his uh, info in the description below. But yeah, check him out, go on his Instagram. Really dope work. You can find him at Ink Shop Parlor in Arcadia, California. So yeah, thank you guys. Yo, my bad if the video's a little bit lackluster. I didn't really have time to ask anyone to record the process of me getting tatted and all that. But again, shout out to Eddie Bird. I'm about to meet up with the homie right now and then I'll ask him to record me so you guys can take another look at my tat and to, for me to also explain the reason for my tat too. Ooh, you see what I did there? My tattoo. ooh. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, uh, driving right now. And um, the weather's nice. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Yo, what's going on? It's been three and a half weeks since I got my tattoo and I never really talked about the design and the process of it. So let me talk about that. So the process was what I expected. It was a total of seven and a half hours long. But the first initial two hours was talking about the design, making sure everything fitted correctly. He was, you know, putting, you know, Sharpie on my back and all that. And the next five to five and a half hours was the actual tattooing with about four to five breaks in between, you know, just to move our legs around and use the restroom and all that. And even pizza, like, yo, he, get, he hooked it up with pizza one time. So that was tight. And again, shout out to Eddie Bird for the design and for doing the tattooing, you know, follow him. Uh, info is in the description below. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the design. So the design I got from the K-pop singer Taeyong and uh, I, th I just thought it was a really cool design and I just wanted to have my own little interpretation of it. So if you haven't really noticed that there's a lot of, uh, or the entire design is Catholic influence. I was born and raised Catholic and yeah. So let's go ahead and go with the middle. Uh, the middle is obviously Jesus's cross and uh, the cross is actually the same as the one on Taeyong's back But I think Eddie like maybe like shaded it a little bit different And I know the the sun rays coming from the back is different from Taeyong's tattoo And let's go to the one on the left the one on the left is St. George slaying the dragon and why that's significant to me is because my family goes to St. George Church and we've been going to that church since I moved to Stockton, California in 96 so yeah, so it has a really um deep connection with me. I have an uncle who's a priest and when we first moved to Stockton, he was a priest there, so that was cool. And also with that church, uh, there was a elementary school and I went to St. George Elementary from kindergarten to third grade. So there's that. So on the left side, St. George slaying the dragon. Let's so go on the right side. On the right side, it's a mural of Mary and Jesus. 
And this specific mural is called Our Lady of Perpetual Help. And what's that significant to me is that, so I've been baptized twice. Uh, one where I was born in Honolulu, Hawaii, and one in my dad's hometown of Domingueti City, Negros Oriental, Philippines. And both churches were actually Our Lady of Perpetual Help. And I chose to use the mural from my dad's church in his hometown. And uh, I just feel like there's something special about being baptized twice. You know, uh, I don't really know the extent as to why my parents wanted me to be baptized twice. Maybe because, you know, obviously being raised Catholic to be baptized. And I think when I went to the Philippines when I was like six months old, I think I was surrounded with a lot more family. So I think that's, that's about it. So yeah, that's my tattoo, guys. Uh, again... Shout out to Eddie Bird, follow him. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the homie, that's about it. Uh, I'm actually about to be traveling soon. Today is August 21st. I'm actually flying out tomorrow, August 22nd. Better stay tuned because by the time I upload this, I'm probably already gonna be there. So yeah, follow me on Instagram, all that. All right, cool.